Hey there, everyone. Uh, I hope you're all having a fantastic Thursday. Um, hope, hope it feels like a Thursday. Um, uh, cause, you know, that means Friday's the next day. But it feels like Friday for me, cause I don't have school tomorrow and all that, but I'm getting off topic. Let's just say that last week was a pretty interesting week in the NFL. First off, the Patriots didn't play, so... We didn't see another one of their wins. And the Browns didn't play, so we, did, so we didn't see another fantastic win from the Browns. Um, but yeah, lots of, lots of interesting stuff went, went on. I went 9-4, and four, which puts me at 78-54, and 54, which is pretty good. I'll take it. Let's just say I'm rebounding, though. Like, remember, remember those weeks at the start of the season where I just did absolutely awful... Well, I, I rebounded, and I'm happy with how I did. Let's do some recaps, because I just kind of want to get into the predictions. Don't you? Um, the Jets beat the Bills, which is a good win for them. The Jets are still in playoff contention. And I didn't know this last week, but Deshaun Watson is apparently out for the rest of the season, as is Andrew Luck. Um... Wait, oh, I think I did know that Deshaun was injured last week. I'm not sure. You can go watch that video and see for yourself. But yeah, the Colts beat the Texans. Texans are now one of the most boring teams to watch again. Um, the Raiders beat the Dolphins. And I think the Raiders are on bye this week, and that bye couldn't have come at a better time. But you know, the Dolphins, they could keep up with the Raiders. And the Cowboys beat the Chiefs. Yeah. And we didn't just beat them. We actually kind of beat them by more than 10 points. And the Broncos. The Broncos are just awful now. Like, awful. The Eagles just got things done. And 49ers lost to the Cardinals. The Rams just absolutely killed the Giants, 51-17. to And what was a surprise? Well, not a surprise for me because I got it right. The Panthers beating the Falcons. Cam Newton didn't even throw for more than 150 yards, but they still won. And the Saints beat the Bucks. Um, not, 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 too, not too hard to figure that out. The Bucks suck. I should call them the Tampa Bay Suckaneers. Um, yeah, Saints, their offense just keeps rolling. And the Redskins beat the Seahawks. That's, that's, that's interesting, to say the least. I mean, I, I really don't have a, a lot of words on that, just because, you know, Seahawks aren't a perfect team. And the Lions beat the Packers. It just goes to show you that when the Packers lose Aaron Rodgers, their entire team falls apart. The Packers need Aaron Rodgers. I'm pretty sure they would rather have him with an injured collarbone playing than Brett Hundley playing. I don't know. Anyway, that's all the recaps. I got done quick, so... We could go to week 10, and we got the Chiefs, Eagles, Raiders, and Ravens on bye. I think the Chiefs have a good bye week this week because, you know, they start off 5-0. and Now they're 6-3. and Yeah, I have a theory on that. There's a 5-1 and curse. When a team starts off 5-0, and then loses one game, they start to fall apart. It happened to the Falcons in 2015. Happened to the Vikings last year? Will it happen to the Chiefs this year? I don't know. So let's start with Steelers at Colts. I'm going to take the Steelers just because the Colts are um, still don't have Andrew Luck out for the rest of the year, apparently. Which means that I don't really want to watch the Colts this year. So yeah, Steelers win, which I guess congratulations, Colts. Because I picked against you. I guess that means you win. Chargers at Jaguars. The Jaguars proved that they can also win games at home. 
Even though the Chargers are coming up by, I think the Jaguars are going to win. Bengals Titans. Um, yeah. Uh, AJ Green and Jalen Ramsey got into a fight last week. Neither of them got suspended, which is quite surprising. But hey, I love AJ Green. So, doesn't matter to me. I got him on fantasy. So, I love it that he's not suspended. Um, but I'm still going to take the Titans, though. This is probably going to be the year that Marvin Lewis gets gets the pink slip. As in, he's getting fired, for those of you who don't know what that means. Um, the Sunday night game, Patriots at Broncos. Oh, man, I just realized I forgot to start with a Thursday night game. Sorry about that. Um... You know, let's just make it feel like I start off with a Thursday night game. Um, Seahawks Cardinals. The Cardinals are 4-4. Four and four. Yeah, I'm surprised by it too. But I'm still going to take the Seahawks just because I feel like the Seahawks are a way better team. Alright, let's move on to the Sunday night... Not Sunday night games. The Sunday games, which I totally didn't predict yet. Steelers at Colts, I'm going to take the Steelers. Chargers at Jaguars... I'm going to take the Jaguars. Bengals, Titans, I'm going to take the Bengals. Just kidding, I'm taking the Titans. And now, Patriots, Broncos. The Sunday night game. Like I said, the Broncos are awful. Yeah, I know we lost to 25 to them, but I feel like if we were playing them this week, we would be beating them by 25. And the Patriots, they're going to kill the Broncos. Like, it's probably gonna not even be a good game. Saints at Bills. My upset of the week. I'm gonna take the Bills, actually. I've learned to trust the Bills at home. They're a good home team. And the Saints, they won six in a row, so the pressure's on for the Saints. I mean, I want the Saints to win the division. I just think they might slow down a little bit. If that makes any sense. Jets at Buccaneers. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Jets. The Buccaneers are just a mess right now. No Jameis Winston. And Mike Evans got suspended for a week. So, yeah, it's not looking too good for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Browns at Lions. Oh, Browns. I want you to get your first win so bad. And while I think you will get your first win this season at some point, I don't think it's going to be this week. The Lions, they're, they want to come back and win that division. Just because now that the Packers don't have Aaron Rodgers, they know good and well that they have a chance. Texans, Rams. So the Rams offense is actually real this year, like... The Rams are not a fluke this year. I'm going to take the Rams. Dolphins at Panthers. Actually, my second upset of the week. Yeah, that's right. I could have two upsets in one week. Um, and this seems to be a pretty big upset because everyone else has taken the Panthers. Let me know if you're taking the Dolphins. But yeah, I'm taking the Dolphins just because I was impressed from what... Jay Cutler did against the Raiders. He threw for a lot of yards, almost beat the Raiders. So yeah, I'm going to take the Dolphins. Um, oh, look at that Thursday night game, which I totally predicted first. And what we have here is probably one of the worst games of the entire season. The 1-7 Giants versus the 0-9 San Francisco Football 49ers. This is must-watch football. It's in the afternoon. And we all know the afternoon has horrible games. That was sarcasm, by the way. I'm taking the 49ers, though. Um, I haven't picked the Giants once this season, and that trend will continue probably for the rest of the season. Just because the 49ers, at least they... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what good I could say about the 49ers right now. Either way, this is just an awful game. Don't watch it. Packers-Bears. 
Um, I'm going to take the Bears. And it's not my upset because we all know how the Packers do without Aaron Rodgers. Uh, yeah, so the Bears. And Mitchell Trubisky is actually a pretty decent quarterback. So don't doubt him. Cowboys at Falcons. My game of the week. Yeah, I made the Cowboys the game of the week twice in a row. Yeah, the Falcons, they're struggling a bit. And the Cowboys are, you know, they figured stuff out. Even though I think, even though Zeke is out for this week, I, I think. And Des Bryant is limited practice. But I'm still going to take the Cowboys because... How about them Cowboys? But yeah, this should be a pretty good game. Um, but it looks like the Cowboys have... I honestly don't know who has the better offense in this game. If we had Des Bryant or Ezekiel Elliott, it would definitely be the Cowboys. Heck, even if we have one of them, it'd still be the Cowboys. And the Falcons, their offense has has really just been shut down and the last game the Vikings and the Redskins my lock of the week um I think Teddy Bridgewater's coming back this weekend so that should be interesting to watch I'm going to take the Vikings and this is a morning game so I'll call it my morning game of the week yeah but Vikings are my lock of the week the Redskins are going to lose. And those are my picks. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all next video whenever my next video will be posted. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. Peace.